Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Hudson Fields Hazen Union High School in Hard Vermont on a spectacular. Oh, let's call it. It's not officially fall yet, is it, Griff? I don't think until like next week, like okay. a week from today or something. A spectacular late, late summer day then for Hazen Union Wildcat soccer action. Your Hazen Union Wildcat boys taking on the Northfield Williamstown varsity. Uh, a couple of schools that have combined to put up squads. We've seen that happen with a lot of schools as they're consolidating with stuff. And I know the two schools are still in operation, but I think the sports teams have combined, at least for soccer, to uh, create a team. Your Hazen Union Wildcats come in with a three-game win streak, uh, looking fairly impressive lately. They beat Danville 5-0 last Friday the 13th. Beat Oxbow here at uh, Hudson Field 7-1. Beat Fairfax 3-2 in double overtime back on the 4th of September. That was after an opening away game at PA where they lost 4-1. But been looking pretty good since then. Northfield Williamstown comes in at, with a record of 0-2. They lost to Virgen's 1-zip and Harwood 2-zip. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 16 on your local cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Griff on camera. I'm sure we'll have Harry up here as soon as the girls are done practicing. Sponsors today, Willie's Store, 533-2621, open every day 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. And Calderwood Insurance Agency, 472-5517, service and protection since 1979. Give Mike a call. He will insure anything and everything that you need insurance on. And I'll tell you, up at Willie's Store, if you can't find it, you don't need it up there at that place. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> down for some soccer action. Once again, thanks to everybody, the Hazen Union Wildcat Boys and Lady Cats, Games all sold out for sponsorship. A few slots remaining for basketball. If you want to call in now or check it out at hctv.us. They're going fast. Remember, you can sell it from Swanton to Singapore. On HCTV, we are on the World Wide Web. Opening tick moments away. Now, I don't know this team's nickname either. So I'm going to call them NW. How's that? I like it. I was thinking we would need an acronym. Yeah. I know Williamstown is the Blue Devils. Is Northfield is what? The, I want to say Marauders, maybe? I'm not I'm sure. But anyway, we're going to go with NW with the ball. Jimmy Bellavance below us. He could probably tell me, I'm sure. Tyson Davison over to Baker. The Cats passing game has been just absolutely spectacular the last few games. They have really come along. Colton Nemi up ahead. Cody Hall, Tyson Davison in there. Save James Stevens, senior keeper for NW. Anthony Patrick trying to clear that one out. For the Cats, that's some name and numbers. Arvid Tillman up ahead. Logan Doney gives chase, working against Lincoln Mitchell. A little bit of a trickler in there. Julius the Wall Rosenthal. A wall of defense back there. Throw in Caden Crawford Stemple, a sophomore for NW. Ball goes out, we're going to have a corner kick. Jacob Tasty, the senior. The most exciting play in all of soccer right here. The corner kick. Ball floats in. Player there. Ball doesn't, didn't really go the way he wanted it to. It's going to go out. They're going to call another corner. Jacob, go get the ball. Action just underway here at Hudson Fields. Your Hazen Union Wildcats taking on the Northfield slash Williamstown varsity. The Shopper, Ethan Shopland, cleans up on that one. Ball up ahead, played by Arvid Tillman. Stemple, looking ahead. Rosenthal, high spinner. Going to drop out of bounds. We're going to have a throw-in. Nick Passel. 
Pasalakwa. It's as close as I think I'm going to get on that pronunciation. There's a half a shot deflected away by the defense. And I'll tell you, Griff, over that Danville game, our defense was just absolutely lights out. That is good to hear. That is good to hear. They were phenomenal. There's Baker on the far side. And a clear. Takes a shot. Save. Stevens. Tiny bit of a breeze up here. Boy, what a, what a day, though. Up here in about two more weeks, the view is going to be absolutely stunning. Patrick playing against Pasalacqua. Rosenthal. Playing against Tassie. Over there to clear it. On the first side is Riker Willett. It'd be kind of cool if he played up front. You could have Riker the striker. <laughs> Ball on the far side. On it. Rosenthal down. Save, NW. Wyatt Bellavance there to block that shot. NW keeps it in the end, though. Trying to make something happen here. Bellavance. With a chip. Pass Alakwa. Inside. Thought I heard a whistle there. Patrick. Davidson working against Pass Alakwa. Caden Hurley going to take the free kick. Floater in the middle. Floater in the middle. That's dangerous. Off the end line. Hazen goal kick. Chopper. This one up, Wyatt Bellavance gets a foot on it, makes the turn. Wyatt comes across. He's looking for Baker, didn't quite sneak it through. Nice pass up ahead. Wow. He's in defense back on their heels. Jacob Tassi looking to score. Finn Rooney on the far side. Shot in. Shoplin, easy save. High punt. Out to midfield. Ball comes down. Cody Hall gets ahead on it. Up ahead to Baker. Baker, he's out there. If he can get the speed by, defensive player right with him. Baker gets his pocket pick. Finn Rooney right there to do it, though. Davison looking to get the turn. Can't get it by. Defense stout for NW right now. Wyatt Bellavance, high. Julius. Bellavance uses his head to get it going back the other way. There we go, up ahead. Colton Nimi for Baker. Davison. Wow. These guys are really using their head up there. Bellavance goes up, the NW player goes down, and that usually means, well, they didn't call it on Wyatt that time. We've seen that happen a lot, haven't we, Griff? Where one player Wyatt falls down. Go, Wyatt goes yeah. in to make the play, the player falls down. And... It's a physics equation, right? It's a physics equation, right? Exactly. I believe this is Colton Nimi taking the free kick. Floats it up. Baker trying to get the foot on it. Turn high. Over the goal into the trees. He's an offense finally getting a little bit of play here. They played a lot of defense there. The first eight minutes or so of this first half, 32-21 left. Rosenthal. Oh, up. oh and 
believe that is, trying to see who that is. Is it Riker? Riker will let down, but he's back up. Took a shot right in the back, forearm shiver. Right to the back. A Bruno Sammartino-like forearm. Finn Rooney on the far side. Whirls and durls. He's a whirling dervish. Play Rosenthal. Cody pitches it ahead. Isaiah didn't get a foot on it. Ball bounces as it goes by. Oh, couldn't quite get it down. Nice block out. I believe that was Michael Murphy, if I see the number correctly from here. I think that's the number 18. Or if it's number, yeah. Is it 18? The, uh, the number of the player who yeah, blocked that. Yeah, we'll block that, yeah. We'll give it to Murphy for now. Rosenthal trying to make something happen. Finn Rooney. Finn Rooney, I'll tell you, that kid's not quick. He's sudden. Nimi trying to get the foot on it. Rosenthal clears it out with authority to the far side. Good to see the good crowd. And W travels well. It's almost a corner here. Shoplin. With the save. Short punt. Headed down. Nick Pasolacqua bowling his way up to the front. Far side. Boy, Williamstown. Uh, Northfield NW moving the ball really well. Twenty-nine minutes left in the first half. No score. Sort of back and forth action. I would say NW has controlled it a little bit more than us. Would you say that, Chris? A little bit more. Both teams have pretty good chances. Both teams seem to be, you know, kind of playing well. Yeah. Nice passing on both sides. Cody makes a turn. Sneaks up through. Blocked down by the NW player. Here's what I'm going to predict, Griff. With the way these guys on both sides are liking to play this ball with their heads, I think we're going to see a goal more than likely off a header than a kick. Well, my, that's my prediction right now. Maybe off of a corner kick. That the, is a good time to have a header. The most exciting play in all of soccer. Easy save for Ethan Shopland. The mini shopper, low punt. Tyson lost his footing there. Wyatt, fellow Vance, can't get the foot on it. Finn Rooney. Finn Rooney, no relation to Art Rooney. The principal of. Uh, Ferris Bueller's 
day off uh, <laughs> high school. <laughs> I got to throw that in, Griff. You know hey. I've got to. Anytime. You know I've gotta. Yeah, anytime you need something, you go with Ferris Bueller's day off. Say, I am not. All right. Back to the action. Anthony Patrick. Oh. Taken down by Pasolacqua. Colton Nimi will take the free kick. Oh, ball down. <laughs> Guess they're going to call some some type of infraction for that. Goalie tried to make the play, went down. White kick. They're going to have a turn. Shot across the middle. Ethan Shopland. Being tested a little bit here in the early going of this match. Finn Rooney. Rooney goes up against Logan Doney. These guys are having a Pier 6 brawl over there for the ball. Throw in. Caleb Friend on the far side, working against, uh, I believe, I didn't get a number of the player he was working against. Brody Brown over there right now with him. Stevens makes the scoop for the save. Long punt. Rosenthal. Down. A chip up ahead. Trying to get the turn. Tassie inside. Stemple with a shot. Shopper with the save. Ethan Shopland. Trying to sink that one through. Baker. We're going to get a call. Going to get a call on that one. I believe that was Hurley. I saw number eight. Kind of hard to see the numbers from up here, Griff. It's a long ways across Hudson yes. Field here sometimes. And when they're kind of half turned, I don't want to blame the wrong person or call the wrong person. <laughs> We're up here doing the best we can, right? That's right. Wyatt Bellavance with the chunk. Inside, Baker gets the head on it. And Davison wanted to follow in. Long pass out. Wow, what an arm. Looking for Tucker Hall. No relation. Gibson Slesher over there. Middle of the field right now. That was uh, Stemple. Patrick working against Tucker Hall. Good match so far. Long kick, Hurley to the middle. Finn Rooney gets the head on it. Colton Nimi gives chase. Looking up ahead for Caleb Friend. Caleb's onside. If he can get in there. Wow, back to on his horse was Hurley. Caden Hurley came from way back to make that play and tip it out. Good speed. Hurley the senior. Throw in. Katz. Wyatt Bellavance with the chip. Caleb Friend back. Looking for Nimi. Another red throw. 
Colton Nimi. Inside. He was looking for Rooney. Corner kick. Trying to get in there, looking to get the Stevens back. Baker inside, chip in, ball ping pongs around. Rooney had a shot at it, Tyson Davison did. No goal. About as good an opportunity as we've had so far this game. Here's Baker trying to move up again. I'll tell you, this NW defense is fast. Stevens goes down. Caleb Friend right there. Bellavance back down. Hazen looking to capitalize here. Cross. Baker. Wide. Save. Stevens. The butcher, the baker, the almost goal maker. Ball bounces down. Willette working on the far side. Just about halfway through the first half of this game, Hazen taking on the Northfield slash Williamstown varsity. No score. Lance Hall with the call. HCTV Channel 16 on your local cable dial streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Griff on camera, saved by Shoplin. Our sponsor today, Willie Store, 533-2621, open every day, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. And I'll tell you, Griff, if you can't find it at Willie's, you don't need it. And Calderwood Insurance Agency, 472-5517, service and protection since 1979. Give Mike a call. He will insure everything and anything that you need insurance on, all at a fair price. See what happens here. And I'll say it again, Griff, this is a spectacular day to be up on the roof of the Industrial Arts Building looking down on Hudson Fields. Very nice. Sun's out. Yeah, nice not breeze. Too, yeah, not too hot, not too cool cold. Whoa, Davidson played that one the wrong way. There's Williamstown trying to put some shots on. Save! Ethan Shoplin, the shopper. The shopper showing why he is the number one brand in goalkeepers. Stay with him, stay with him. Almost a point blank shot right there. Nice move up ahead. NW Patrick up into the crowd. Watch long throw. throw in Justin Wright, a senior for NW. Ball blows off the chin of the NW player back. Pasalacqua, middle of the field. Finn Rooney, Rosenthal. Guys are doing anything to get the ball out of here. Patrick almost takes a shot. There's Wyatt Bellavance. Going up ahead. Defense back, though. Brody Brown with the chunk outside. I have no idea who number 17 is for us. I have no 17 on my list here. Don't do it. See if I have a JV, I have no idea. Jimmy, what? who's 17 for us? Okay. Montgomery. I can't see his face from up here. <laughs> <laughs> I have just been informed that number 17 is James Montgomery. Nice when we can shout down, eh, Griff? That's, hey, it's good to have a encyclopedic knowledge of the squad down there. <laughs> exactly. Oh, Patrick takes down, uh, he's going to get called on that one. Takes down Justin Wright. Trying to save a goal. Up 
Jacob Tassi taking the free kick for NW. I guess that was indirect. I still haven't quite learned to look and see which way the referee's hands are pointing up or down or whatever. We need Harry for that. Yeah. Well, they built the wall, so it made me think that yeah. they usually do that when it is direct. But, uh, but the other thing is, you know, with a direct kick, you don't have to try and shoot it. Right. Set up the play. I mean, we saw a girls team here score a beautiful goal off of a corner kick that wasn't the traditional corner kick. You know, it was kind of a set play. Right. Patrick, long throw up ahead. Caleb Friend, that's going to go out, turn the ball over to NW. Throw in, Caden Hurley. Bellavance, back up. Hurley tries to make a play. Tyson Davidson right there. Justin Wright turns around. Nimi trying to fight him off. Anthony Patrick says, get this out of my house. Cody Hall can't quite get a step on Brody Brown over there. This NW defense is both stout and speedy. Rosenthal. Playing tough on the other side. Referee wants him to kind of calm down. Are you gonna, is he going to card him? I saw him. thought I saw him reaching. Now he's going to give him a talking to. thought I saw him reaching for a card, but he... Brief lecture. 15-15 left to go here in the first half. NW, high shot up. Oh, and there's a score. And Griff, did I call it or did I call it? Off the head, huh? Off the header. Off that high kick in. If you can get me a number. Oh boy, I'll try it. I want to say, I almost think, I, I don't dare say. Guy jogging closest to us now if he turns. Is that number? Nice job, gentlemen. Number 13? 13? Justin Wright, I believe, is who got the head in. I saw him sort of. We'll give it to him. All right. I had a pen on me. I do. NW up 1-0 now. Off the header goal by Justin Wright. Long kick in. Wyatt Bellavance. Chip over Finn Rooney. Looking over ahead. Back out. Seeing some nice passing. James Montgomery takes down the NW player there on the far side. Big punt, Ethan Shoplin, Cody. Cody Hall trying to trap it down, pitches over to Finn Rooney. Finn Rooney on the far side. Looking to get it across, Colton Nemi can't quite get the foot that he wanted to on it. Here's Cody, back over, Tyson Davison. Tell you though, Griff, this NW defense seems to know exactly where to be when we get up there to sort of try to put on any. They, they've been able to thwart the bulk of our attacks today. Oh, definitely stymied. Stymied. Completely yep. stymied. Throw in. Baker, nice trap, turns, two defenders right there. Finn Rooney can't get a foot on it. There's Colton Nemi back to the middle. Played out by NW. Got to hand it to him. Their defense is playing well today. There's a high floater over. Shoplin lets that one go. can hear the coach, Jim Bellavance, down here. <laughs> Tell him just exactly what to do. Hey. It's good. You know, we have coach on one side, coach on the other side. Yeah, of the field, you know? yeah exactly. 
Kyle Burson coaches from the far side. Jimmy coaches from this side. Joplin out to make that save. Caleb Friend wants to turn. Can't get it. Pass to Lacqua. Inside. Stemple. Playing back out. I believe that's John Tenney. Patrick boots that one up into the loading dock. Gonna have a throw in Justin Wright, who has scored. For NW to put them up 1 0. 11.59 left to go here in the first half. Swing and a miss. Oh. Bella Vance and John Tenney go toe to toe. And from up here, that looks like a couple of big boys. Yeah. Caden Hurley. Put the shot on. Shoplin makes the save. The shopper. High punt. Davidson. Cody down. Baker. Can't get it through. We have just not been able to penetrate this defense, Griff. The defense seems like they're pretty, there's a difference between defenses that are good at getting the ball away from their opponent and good at being in the right position at the right time. Yeah. And it looks like these guys do both. Yeah. Good job, Julian. And they've been able to control the middle of the field extremely well, too. Patience by N.W. Caleb Friend pitches it over. Colton Nimi lifts it up. Can Friend catch up to it? Harvard Tillman with the chip back. Patrick on the throw in. Let's see if we can get something on this one. Baker. Trap. I say they've been able to control the middle of the field extremely well. <clears throat> Lincoln Mitchin. Up. Over. Caleb Friend. Taken out by Tillman. Friend will have a throw. Caleb Friend into Colton Nimi. Patrick, middle of the field, trap down Baker. Back over, Friend gets it to Nimi. Back outside to Friend. Friend trying to get the cross, does get the cross, but blocked out by the NW player. White throw. Wyatt Bellavance pokes through Caden Hurley trying to get that one. Baker, there's Friend. Oh, if he could have got that lead foot. With a shot, he had a brief, brief opening there. Would have been a long shot, though. Baker, floater, balls up. Nobody there to capitalize for the Cats. Hazen, I would call that a blown opportunity. Wyatt Bellavance calls for the infraction with eight minutes and ticking left with the Cats down 1-0. Free kick, NW up high. Mitch at Sky to get ahead on that one. 
or no, that was uh, James Montgomery, excuse me, James Montgomery, who skied up. Shopper save. James Montgomery on the far side, who went about eight feet high to get that one. Shoplin, short punt, turnaround. MacDonald Lamphere out there now in the middle of the field. Ball out, we'll have a throw, NW. Oh, and by the way, Griff, Cody um, got to watch the replay of the Oxbow game. Yeah. And got a hearty laugh out of my tail of him drinking all my cherry cokes. <laughs> Oh, ball goes under Patrick's foot. It's Justin Wright playing it ahead with nobody there. So what is the uh, Cherry Coke situation at the present time? Uh, I still have a pretty good supply of them. Okay. And uh, I bought him some uh, some tea, some green, some of that tea lemonade mix. Okay, yeah. And, uh, you know, that's, that's what he can drink and... Uh, Stays away from my cherry cokes. All right. Well, hey, you got to lay some ground rules. Exactly. I mean, I got to draw the line somewhere. Got to have boundaries. Yep. Ball played up ahead, I believe, right. Six minutes left in the first half. Finn Rooney over on our side now. Rosenthal playing that one up ahead. Davison trying to make something happen. Montgomery out there. Rosenthal. Montgomery. Colton Nimi up ahead. McDonald Lampier gets a foot on it in there. Nimi tries to get the shot on blocked. Shot up high. Five minutes left to go in the first half. Your Hazen Union Wildcats down by a score of 1-0 to the Northfield slash Williamstown Varsity. Goal by Justin Wright. A nice header off of a long free kick. Got up and over the head of the shopper. Substitutions going on. Riker Willette back in for Hazen. Rosenthal. Inside. Gets by. Shot. Kicked out by the shopper. I don't know if that one would have snuck in the inside of that post or if it was wide or not, but he wasn't taking any chances. Nick Pasalacqua. With that shot, we'll have a corner kick. Jacob Tassi with the corner. Wow! Floats over everybody. Davidson. You know the other thing I've happen to notice in this first half. Nice block out. Save Shopper. Wow. That was quite a sequence right there. <laughs> a little bit of panic. Moment. Yeah. The other thing I've noticed, uh, Griff, is that whenever we have the ball, seems to be whatever guy that for us has it, he's double teamed by NW. Theoretically, you think that would leave someone open, but it's not working. <laughs> But, I, you know, I don't know if you've picked up on that or not. Yeah, you feel the pressure against this defense pretty quick, I guess, huh? Yeah. <laughs> 
All right, but up front, we've got Isaiah Baker and McDonald Lamphere. Here's Wright on the far side, looking to get it back. Shot inside. Save the shopper once again. I don't know if I've seen the shopper get this much of a workout since that first game against PA. Shot, ooh, off of Baker's face. Keeps it rolling, though. Isaiah Baker, that sting will go away if he can score here. Baker drops it in to Nimi. Nimi out. We'll have a goal kick. I'll try to say that with a little more enthusiasm next time, Griff. <laughs> 125 left to go here in the first half. High kick up. Defense back. Ball down. Here's right. Goes in against Willett. Mitchell. Back up. Working against Logan Amell. Willett. One minute. One minute left to go in the half. McDonald Lamphere. Oh, Mac takes one right off his chest. He'll be fine. He's double tough. 35 seconds, Cats. Going to make something happen here in the closing moments of the first half against this Northfield at Williamstown Varsity. So far, it has been a tale of in defense that has stymied just about all of our attempts. We did have that one glorious opportunity. Back when the ball got misplayed, a rare misplay by Stevens, but nobody there to capitalize. One more run, one more run. Ten seconds left. Defense coming back. Here's Rosenthal. Little shot in on Shopland. And that will end the first half with the Northfield Williamstown Varsity up on New York. Hayes and Union Wildcats with a score of one to nothing. Justin Wright with the goal for Northfield slash Williamstown. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 16 on your local cable dial streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Griff on camera. Our sponsors today, Willie Store, 533-2621, open every day, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. And Calderwood Insurance Agency, 472-5517, service and protection since 1979. We'll see you at the start of the second half. And we are back about a minute away from the start of the second half. Hudson Fields and Hazen Union High School in beautiful Hardwick, Vermont. Your Hazen Union Wildcat boys against the Northfield slash Williamstown Varsity. Wildcat boys down by a score of one to nothing off of a Justin Wright goal. And we saw the Williamstown Northfield defense just completely stymie the Hazen offensive attack, which has sort of been on fire the last few games. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 16 on your local cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Griff on camera, our sponsors. Willie Store, 533-2621, open every day, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. And Calderwood Insurance Agency, 472-5517, service and protection since 1979. Thanks to everyone. Once again, the both Wildcat Boys and Lady Cat Girls soccer games have full sponsorship for this season. A few slots still open for basketball season, but check it out at hctv.us. Contact them there. To reserve your spot. After all, you can sell it from Swanton to Singapore via the World Wide Web that Hardwick Community Television is on. So, Griff, I, I don't know. I, I, you know what I, you know what I almost think. Since I called the first goal, you know, I said the way yep. these teams were bouncing around on the heads, it was going to go off a header. Yep, yep. I'm going to say that if Hazen gets a goal, it's going to be kind of fluky. Fluky. Okay. It's going to be kind of a fluky thing. I, I don't want to say lucky. Just fluky, because I think it's going to take some kind of odd breakdown in this Northfield-Williamstown mm. defense 
And uh, James Stevens, their keeper, has been playing lights out, too. I mean, a few saves that he made, he was there. Yep. yep. Although he had that one bobble that we had the opportunity to score on, but nobody there. So we did have some chances. Score could easily be 1-1. But we saw the shopper make a couple of great saves, too. So we'll keep it where it's at. One zip. Hazen comes in with a record of 3-1, three three-game win streak. Northfield Williamstown are 0-2. They lost to Virginia and Harwood. Hazen beat up on Danville 5-0 last Friday the 13th. They beat Oxbow 7-1 right here. And Fairfax 3-2 double overtime thriller after losing their opening game at PA 4-1. 15 goals in the last three games. Zero so far here today. Cole Tanimi, the most exciting play in soccer, the corner kick. Save, Stevens, just a tad high. Wyatt Bellamance in there. Trying to get the header on it. Well played back. Willette back up. Finn Rooney. Finn Rooney and Cody Hall here on the near side. A couple of burners. Finn. Looking across, held off by Caden Hurley, who made a heck of a play in the first half to go charge across three quarters of the field to make a stop. If I'd made that run, I'd still be wounded. Finn Rooney inside, broken up, slasher up here in the middle. Tassie offside. Offside by a step. Julius Lawal Rosenthal. Oh, played up, streaking in. Tyson Davidson can't get there. Stevens with the scoop. Steven short punt, gets the hop, gets a good hop. Lincoln Mitchell back. Throw in, NW on the far side, drop pass. I've complained about this for so long, but I'm gonna keep on doing it. I'm stunned at what goes for throwing <laughs> nowadays. Just stunned at what they get away. We have seen a few times this year between yeah, the boys and girls. I actually have called a few illegals, but yep. man, compared to what it once was. Yeah, no, I mean. NW marching their way up the field via the throw-ins. Brody Brown kind of sneaking around here on the outside. Number two, watch him. If they get across, he's in there. Well, he's offsides now. But Finn Rooney will be shadowing him close now. Finn Rooney fears no man. Corner. Save the shopper. Joplin playing with the sun on his back as opposed to in his eyes. We'll see if that affects Steven as the sun is really coming down right in his eyes now. NW defense continuing to play as they did in the first half, being a right guy in the right place, making the right play. Finn Rooney working against Combs. Well, that's chip in. Gets the Atlanta chip in. Throw in. Willette. Cody trapped down. Nice pass inside to Rooney. Rooney can't quite catch it, though. Colton Nimi over here. It's going to go out of bounds. Cody can't quite catch up with it. Cole, 
throw in, Hurley. Colton Nimi down, chip over. Rooney, can he get the foot on it? He's got the speed. Hurley right there with him. Can't quite get it. Caden Hurley keeps up with the speedy one, Finn Rooney. Early ball up. Nice job, Julius. Julius ahead. Baker will come down with it. Davison can't get their foot on it. Here's Baker. Puts a shot on. Steven save. Scoops it up. Davison right there. Giving Stevens a little bit of a test here in the second half. Quality shot right there. Ball bounces by Everton. Rosenthal back. Going across, I believe it's Logan Amell. Got that one back. Bellavance up. Taken out. Arvid Tillman trying to clear that one out. Baker working against Hurley. Hurley's everywhere. Baker trying to get it. Davidson trying to turn. A little bit of a shot on. Easy save for Stevens. Davidson. Far side. Patrick lifts one up. Finn Rooney. Ahead, Stevens with the save. And I'll tell you, anywhere that ball is down there, Caden Hurley is there as well. Here's the shot in, Shopper down. Can't get it, can't get the rebound. Logan Amell, I believe. That was number 12. If you could confirm that for me, Griff. I believe I saw number 12 as he was making a turn. Got shot on. Uh, Shopper made the initial save. Yeah, number 12. Shot it past the defense. Hazen now down 2 0. Great play. Chip it up ahead. Beat the defense back. Shopper down, made the initial save, but couldn't quite come up with it. Rebound, player there to capitalize. That's what we've seen all game long by the NW Varsity. Defense and offense seem to be in the right place at the right time. And as we know, Griff, timing is everything, isn't it? Yep. <clears throat> That's right. Cody Hall, long throw. He's there to take that down, Caden Hurley. Thirty-one fifty-five left to go in the match. The NW Varsity up two nothing. Cats dug a little bit of a hole for themselves this afternoon. Being down two now. Test the resilience. First year coach Kyle Bursing over on the far side. Ball over in the corner, save back in. There's one across the middle, shopper out. Chases it down. And we've seen that a lot this year, Griff. Ethan isn't afraid to come way out of the goal. Yep, it's true. Long throw. 
Wyatt Bellavance. Goes across the center of the field. Davison back. Mitchett up. Finn Rooney brings it back. Nimi puts a shot on wide. Colton Nimi wide of the goal. NW goal kick. Davison gives chase on the far side, gets it in. Baker, if he can sneak by, can't do it. Players go down, they're going to give the kick to NW. Early, rare one to get by him, but blocked out. That's the first miscue I've seen him make, but his teammate right there to back him up. I believe that was Aiden Combs. Wyatt Bellavance. And joining us now, Hazen Union girls varsity coach, Harry Bissett. A spirited match out here, Harry. We have talked about how the Williamstown defense has been absolutely stout and stymieing a lot of our attempts, although we haven't had a couple of good shots this, this half so far. But they seem to be um, know exactly where to be. Timing is everything. Absolutely. They seem to know exactly where to be on the field. They back each other up well. And Hazen's been unable to break them down. Have uh, they had uh, any clear-cut chances? We've had a couple of, of decent shots, but... You know, I would say Stevens maybe been maybe been tested two, three times, okay. but uh, the rest of them have been kind of high, wide stuff like that. But uh, and uh, the two goals they scored, they scored off a header in the first half, off of a long uh, free kick, almost from center field. Wow! And then in the uh, second half, chipped the ball up over the defense. Player got in. We had one guy back with him. Uh, NW player still was able to get the turn, put the shot on. Shopper made the save. Ball bounced out. Player was there to capitalize on the rebound, put it in the net. Unlucky for Hazen. Has it been a Very. physical match so far? I would say, I mean, I've seen a little bit of, of paint being traded out here, but uh, not overly. You know, I mean, they're playing hard, but it's not. it hasn't gotten chippy or anything like that. A lot of Hazen's games in the past have been won by good passing between players and to build the play up through the field. Have They started that out. In, in the first half, that's the way they kind of started. But I tell you, this NW defense has just been tough to get by. Here we go on the far side. Going to get a shot in wide. Uh, this, this one kid back here, number eight, Caden Hurley, has just been playing lights out. I mean, he, he's made some plays that were just phenomenal. And the one misplay he made, his teammate Aiden Combs was right there to back him up. So, I mean, it just, it's been a great match. Great match. Um, like to see, of course, Hazen get a goal or, you know, two goals and get this thing going. But we'll see what they do playing from behind. Last three games, they've scored 15 goals. So. Wow. Let's hope they can get a couple more in this one. Yeah. That's all we need. Anthony Patrick with the kick. Floated down. Bellavance can't get it. Baker up and over the net. Patrick working on the far side, out of bounds, throw in red. Baker up ahead. Cody, here's the best shot they've had so far. Stevens makes the save.
A glorious scoring opportunity, but then again, Stevens has been playing pretty good. Ooh, Mitchin. Mitchin going toe to toe over there, I believe, with Logan Amell. Amell with the score to put him up 2 0. Wyatt Bellavance clears that one out. Cleared out with authority by the wall, Julius Rosenthal. Baker, just trying to make something happen. Fire City girls getting a bit of a breather this week after yep. a uh, rather hectic first part of the season. Yep, there was a Played up a lot of games in a short time, and now we've, we're have we looking at nice four days of practice to reset ourselves, pull ourselves back up, and uh, continue on with the season. But Travel down to Oxbow on Friday, correct? Yes. Baker, up and over. Long trip down to Oxbow Friday, and then finally come back home next Wednesday for our uh, home game against Richford. Be looking forward to that. Yes. Of course, played Richford up at Jay. How was it playing up there on the turf? Uh, it was wonderful. Uh, the field was slightly bigger than this, um, so it was a big field. Uh, it was a nice surface, well maintained, and it was fun. Uh, first 20 minutes or so were in the rain, so there was some adjustment there, but yeah. it was a good match. Cool. I look forward to playing again here, and hopefully the results will go our way here. As I like to say, a little home cooking sometimes is what you need. Yep. Patrick, up and over. Hurley on the far side. Bounce pass in. Hurley clears that one up. Rosenthal, rare misplay by him. Patrick. Working over against, uh, if that's a 13, it's just in right. Hard to see the numbers from this far away. 22.48, clock ticking here on the game. W looking to get the turn, put the shot on high. Hazen, goal kick. Cody looking to settle that one down. Gets it up and over, Combs. Back here on the near side. That was John Tenney knocking the ball out. Cody goes out. In comes Finn Rooney. So we trade basically with trading Cody for Finn. We trade the Roadrunner for the Flash. <laughs> Hurley working against Finn Rooney. Tenny, once again, locks it out. Hazen throw. We we're hoping the other thing to possibly have a little bit of advantage with Stevens playing into the sun like this. Yep. But uh, thus far, doesn't seem to bother him. Caleb makes, Friend. Makes any of these free kicks down outside of the 18 much more dangerous if the goalie's staring right at the sun. Nimi. Trying to get a shot, trying to do something here. 
Rooney up and over. Hurley with the header out. Do you see what I mean about this defense? What are your yep. your yep. commentary? I'm interested. Uh, they're doing a good job staying organized. They're covering for each other. They're going strong to the ball. They're the Hazen's being resorted to cheeky little chips up and over, but they've got quick feet to get themselves in the right position. They're, they're, they seem to be well organized, but we'll see if a Hazen corner kick can turn some fortune for the Wildcats. Davidson tried to get the head on it. They'll get another chance. One more time with the most exciting play in soccer, the corner kick. Yep. If they can shape a ball in towards the, about towards the penalty mark, it'll turn the goalkeeper's body. It'll be staring straight at the sun. If they can get a powerful header, they might be able to beat him. Nimi, floater down, just waiting. Baker, I think, got up there, got the head on it, but couldn't quite get it going in the direction of the goal. Caleb Friend goes down in front of Tenney. 19.42 left to go in the first half. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 16. On your local cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Griff on camera. Lady Cats varsity coach Harry Bissett providing expert commentary. Turn around. Bellavance clears it out for the defense. Baker's not going to catch that one. Hurley there, he's double quick. Stevens. Chip out. Our sponsor today, Willie Store, 533-2621. Open every day, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Calderwood Insurance Agency, 472-5517. Service and protection since 1979. What do we have here, Harry? We have a free kick. Uh, Isaiah Baker was a little lazy, expected a better pass from the goalkeeper and didn't pressure it, but he made a mistake anyways. Isaiah did a good job tracking the ball off to the side, uh, got himself in front of the goal and drew a foul. And I expect they'll play it similarly to a corner, but... Hopefully a little more accurately. Baker still can't. Right up there in position. Couldn't quite get it the way he wanted. He's in throw. Uh, it was an aggressive play from the, now is it Williamstown or Northfield Williamstown? Northfield. They Northfield merged. slash Williamstown. They merged. Yep, I'm calling him NW. NW. So uh, the NW defense just sort of came through the back of Baker. He did a good job putting getting the ball at his feet and putting his back to the player and drew the foul. Unfortunately, Hazen wasn't able to uh, penetrate that defense any further than outside the box. They have not been able to play penetrate it at all much today. I say, we've seen a couple of shots, but not, not the offensive firepower that we've seen the last couple games out here today. Oh, Colton Nimi, he'll draw one on that. And we will see a yellow card for that one. I didn't see which player for NW went down, but fairly aggressive. All right, Colt, good work, kid. Yep. Ref just wants to keep control of the game, not let it get out of hand. Clock stop with 17.45 left in the game. NW up by a score of 2-0. Scoring for them was uh, Logan Amell and Justin Wright. Free kick early. Played down by Julius Nawal Rosenthal. Look at Amel just banging everybody going up through there. Couldn't quite get down now. Finn Rooney looking ahead. Cody can't get it by. Aiden Combs. Willette brings that one down. Jacob Tassi pitches it back to Hurley. Julius Rosenthal. Nice save by your freshman keeper there. Emily Kimball. Yep. Yep. He's been doing great. Yeah. 
Hurley, pass in. Three cats there to converge on this. Still managed to get the shot off. Excellent hands. Shopper with the save. Yeah, Ethan has made a number of excellent saves. Over on the far side, NW. Content to just play keep away, I think, right now. Run the clock down. Tyson Davison. Across, Finn Rooney gets it in there. Here's Davison, gonna have a good shot on it. Goal! Tyson Davison brings the Cats. Back to within striking distance with a beautiful goal off of a nice feed. Who had the assist on that area? Did you see? I didn't see, but uh, it was excellent passing starting from this outside wing over here. They saw this huge gap, the William uh, positional error. I think the back four was expecting some of the midfield to come and cover in the center, but they left this huge gap for the Wildcats to pass into. Then they were able to just make some nice passes through, come back out to the corner, nice touch, fire it into the back of the net but it was great play and patience from the outside that, to bring it across to the middle initially and not just panic and let some wild shot off. Exactly. But a good job between four of the Hazen players to string some passes together and get a great shot. And that, of course, came off that excellent save that Shoplin made right. back here. Yep. It's so important to have a strong, confident goalie that can keep you in games when the other teams get chances. Absolutely. Cats within striking distance now. 15-11 left in the game. 2-1 the score. Things are getting a slightly chippy out here now, Harry. Yes. A little more physical, I think. Yep. I think uh, we'll see a reaction from the Northfield Williamstown players, but hopefully Hazen can stay composed and get another goal. Catch them while they're panicking. Here's Davison up ahead looking for Baker. Broken up by Tassie. A soft pass from Hazen was easy for, easy for Tassie to intercept. Kill a friend. Rosenthal up ahead. Cody with the trap down. Looks up and over. Nobody there but Hurley. Cody right there. Chip over on the far side looking for Davison once again. Taken out. Nick Pasolacqua, I believe, on the far side, if I'm seeing his number correctly. Got that ball out. Throw in. Wyatt Bellavance looking to get a foot on it. Missed by Montgomery. Gives NW a shot here. Rosenthal trying to play this one out. Williamson player right on his back. There's another one. Wow. Lucky. Fortunate. Yeah. Here comes Julius on the near side. Julius Rosenthal bringing it up. Well, it's got a lot Taking of ground to cover face. to get back. Rosenthal moves it up ahead. It's going to roll out. Going to have a throw. Cody Hall, long throw up ahead, looking for Friend. Not going to get there. Hurley and Friend tangle feet. Go down. Cody looking over. Baker, drop pass, drops down. Here's Baker. Goal! Isaiah Baker. Excellent turn by Baker to fake out the defense, keep the, catch the keeper not paying attention, and then a ball kind of nice dropped in off finish. the throw in. Yep, he made a great fake run and turn, just let the ball go past him, use his body to get between the defender and the ball and the goal. The butcher, the baker, the goal maker, and we've got a tie game right now, 2 2, with 13 02 left to go. Wildcats on the attack. Great offensive play by Hazen. Isaiah Baker and Tyson Davison with the goals. Oh, 
Katz with the free kick. Wyatt Bellavance will take the free kick. Bellavance puts a shot on. Stevens. Short punt. Play back middle of the field. Patrick tried to come down with that. Rosenthal makes a turn. It's going to work against Hurley. See if they can do it again. Cody looking in for Baker. Oh, I thought that ball was going to drop. Turn, Baker, shot on. Nice save, Stevens. Patrick up ahead. Finn Rooney, chip over. Cody trying to settle. Gets it up ahead. Let a little too far. Katz on the attack now. Wyatt, Bellavance, turn. Davison on the far side. Played up ahead. NW back in. James Montgomery high. Taken out. Here you go, Red. Here you go. Come on. Davison high. Baker. Get a shot. Cody, can he get the foot on it? Can't quite get the foot on it. Looks like all the confidence has been sapped out of the Northfield Williamstown defense where we complimented them so highly at the beginning of this half. They were so confident they are making all the right decisions. Now it seems like they're making all the wrong decisions. Kind of falling apart a and little Hazen bit here. Hazen is just feeding through them. And this is what we've seen in the last few games with this Hazen offensive attack. Once they open it up and get going, it just rips. Yep, if you can, if you, it's like a boxing match. You take advantage of your player when he's against the ropes and if you can feed it through goals and in that time, it can make the difference for the whole match. Hurley trying to cross. I believe that was, uh, let me get my program out here. Pasolacqua, who couldn't come that one down, skipped out of bounds, going to give the turnover. Throw in Katz. 10-15 left to go in the match. There we go. Bellavance, chip, high. Nine fifty left in the match. You can hear you could hear screams of shoot from the fans, but there were two Hazen players, six and one up front, Isaiah and Cody, who should be furious that he didn't put a ball right onto the penalty spot for them to come finish. They were both waiting on that line on sides, waiting for them, waiting for him to cross the ball into them so they could have a better shot and finish from point blank range. Bit of a long one he took. NW back up now. See what they do. See if our defense can make something happen here. Lincoln Mitchell on the far side along with James Montgomery. Nine minutes left to go in the game. There's a shot. Shopland. The shopper comes down with it. Big punt up ahead. Cody, trap. Down. Gets his pocket picked, though, by Aiden Combs. Up ahead, here's Tassie. Over there against Willette. Tassie rounds, puts a shot on. High. Had a nice angle, but a bit outside. Tassie went down. Penalty called, free kick. Hurley up to take the free kick. Oh, 
Shot on. Nobody can get a foot on it. Looking across. Had a couple of players in the vicinity. And I think if uh, I, ball could have dropped, you know. If, if it was just a little out of reach of all the Northfield Williamstown yep. offense, which was fortunate because it was well out of reach for the defense for, for Hazen. Would have left uh, Ethan Shoplin with a short it, it point a, blank. Yeah, it would have been a hero save if he'd come up with it, if they'd been able to get a head or a foot on it. Seven minutes left to go in the match. Hazen's come back now and scored two goals here, courtesy of Tyson Davison and Isaiah Baker to tie this game up at 2-2. Looking for the go-ahead now, Saltis and Ray. Continue their win streak, which now stands at three. Bellavance going to be called for the shove. A little too much shoulder in the back. Yep. They don't like it when you come from behind and smash somebody. It's against the rules. Or perhaps they called offsides. Okay. We were I guess they called offsides. I guess they ruled that not a foul. Hmm. All right. Joplin going to come way out of goal to take the free kick. He'll want to get back quick. Northfield's looking to counter as quickly as they can. <coughs> they have the speed to do it with as well. Ball on the far side. Mitchell takes it out. We're going to have a white throw. Cats playing footsie with fate, giving NW this many chances back here. Corner kick. 5.35 left to go. 2-2 two -two tie. Well, we saw this play uh, earlier this year. Joplin punches it up over. Ethan Shopland. Great save again. Shows why he is the number one brand in goalies. <laughs> the shopper. Great save. Crucial time. Five minutes left to let something in at this point. It would be heartbreaking for the Wildcat offense. When they've come back. Ball knocked back out by Willette on his horse to get it. Bellavance goes it over. Or maybe, no, that was, uh, yeah, that was Wyatt, and that was Lincoln Mitchell who just got it up. Pull up, Brad, pull up, come on. Ouellette, nice play out. Caleb Friend up ahead, taken down. Hurley. Back up. James Montgomery. Hurley right there to take it down. Nimi takes it away. Trying to get it up to Baker. He had Baker. Baker had a step. NW defense sort of regrouped here after giving up those last two goals. Yep, they look like they've uh, gotten their composure back and they're shutting Hazen down again. Hazen will have to uh, rework their chemistry to figure out how to beat them and try to catch them sleeping but they certainly look like, like they've shared things up. Three minutes left to go. 3.30, actually. Wyatt Bellavance up. Davison sneaks that one by. Going up ahead. Finn Rooney here on the near side. Looking to catch up. Working against Combs. Combs there first. Combs back to the middle. Chip up and over, and that'll give the Cats the ball. Willett. Throw, looking for Friend, drops down, gonna roll out, who's gonna get it? Hazen. Friend drops it into Nimi. Nimi, Baker, fighting off the defender. Goes up over, Hurley there. Friend can get it, turn it back around, cross. Here's Nimi, looking over across is Cody Davison. Tyson Davison. Baker, high. 
Hazen back to that excellent ball movement. Can they get yep. inside for the shots? So that'll be their key for the next three minutes if they can keep that up. But the, the sort of long looping balls, a desperate attempt to get it up to their striker, it's the that's what's making the Northfield Williamstown defense look so good is they're winning those physical foot races. But when Hazen stays composed, they're able to pass it right through them and give themselves great scoring chances. Caleb Friend looking in the middle, Hurley there to take that one out. Turn. Looking up again, here's Jacob Tassi working against Patrick. Will that back there as well? Going to give Williamstown the throw in, NW the throw in. Two minutes left. Willette going to draw the yellow card. I saw a little extracurricular going on I, at the tail end of that play. I'm not sure. I, I did see Willette reach out, and I, I didn't know if he was trying to kind of say, hey, it's it's okay, or I that guess was, they're that saying was it was a push. That was my first impression as well, but yeah. I, the, I think the ref saw it differently, and it was out of the corner of my eye, so I didn't, yeah. maybe the ref saw something that I missed. He was standing right there. Either way, unfortunate for Hazen to have to make a unintentional substitution. Two minutes left to go in the match, and NW will have the throw-in down here in the corner, almost like a corner kick if Tassie can get a long throw-in. If this game ends 2-2 two to two in regular time, it'll be the more players you have with the yellow cards going into overtime, the spookier things get. Mm. It's so challenging to play a physical game going into overtime when you're on a yellow card because you have to be so careful not to get a second one and get sent off and have your team finish with 10 men. Right now we have Colton Nimi and Riker Willette. So, oh, ball sneaks through. Well, Patrick. Got that one out. So they called, uh, there was a foul in the middle of the field, but because there was a potential breakaway for Northfield Williamstown, the refs played the advantage. Uh, right. It ended up not being an advantage for them, so they pulled the play back to where the foul was. Um, it was uh, good work by the officials. I didn't see the original foul. Yeah, we were it was, watching it was the ball up here. Advantage play. It was good advantage play. 110 left to go in the match. Hurley down in. NW threatening. See if the defense can stay stout. Wide. Hazen goal kick with one minute left to go in regulation. Score tied at 2 2. Rosenthal up. 44 seconds. Plenty of time. Baker goes ahead. Finn Rooney gives chase. Combs over here. Ball comes to the near side. Finn Rooney. Beats Tenney to the ball. Colton Nimi going one-on-one -on -one with Tenney. Caleb Friend back over to Nimi. Chips it up over Rooney trying to get that one. Baker there. Ball's down. Hurley back up. Bellavance can't get the foot on it. 14 seconds left. Bodies everywhere. Seven seconds. And, folks, looks like we are going to head to overtime. Much to the chagrin of my wife, Erie. Again. Again, as Again. it's gymnastics night. <laughs> About two Mondays in a row? I believe so. Uh, we've still got a little bit of time. Lydia doesn't have to be picked up. we got a half an hour. So, All right, at the end of regulation, the score is 2-2. It was uh, Tyson Davison and Isaiah Baker. Nodding it up after, uh, I believe it was Justin Wright scored the, the uh, second goal. Uh, Logan Amell had the other goal for Northfield Williamstown. So we got a 2-2 tie. We're going to take the headsets off for a few minutes. I'm going to shout down to my wife, and uh, we'll be back at the start of overtime. Sounds good. Hopefully we see you at overtime. And we're back. Overtime action once again from Hudson Fields here at Hazen Union High School in Heart of Vermont. Hazen Wildcat boys playing the Northfield Williamstown varsity. So we're tied it up 2-2. Our sponsors, Willie Store, 533-2621, open every day, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. And Calderwood Insurance Agency, 472-5517, service and protection since 1979. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 16 on your local cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Griff on camera, Harry Bissett up here doing the expert commentary as always. And Harry, did you pick the right time to come up or what? Just you were the good luck charm. You were the good luck charm. Hazen was down two zip late. 
in that half and got a couple of goals off of Tyson Davison and Isaiah Baker to knot this one up at 2-2. Once again, Northfield uh, Williamstown comes in with a record of 0-2. Hazen with a record of 3-1, three-game win streak. We saw the offense get on track there for a minute, but this Northfield Williamstown defense is, when they're on, they're on. Hazen, a bit of a disadvantage. Shopper going to be looking into the sun for this part of overtime. And we have decided here, yes, it is two 10-minute periods of overtime. Or first, or first to score. Or first to score, that's right. Sudden death, as I like to call it. Bellavance up ahead. Ball played up by Williamstown. Bell advance once again. Nice job. Go get it. Somebody go wide. We need a wing on that side. Finn Rooney looking to cross. Hurley gets it back. Shot down. Defense there. Bell advance. Shot high. Rock'em, sock'em action. And once again, we do have two players with yellow cards in Colton Nimi and Riker Ouellette. Drawing the yellows in regulation. Hurley. Up ahead, taken down. It's Tavian Rulo with the trap. So advance the ball up, and Anthony Patrick kicks it out. Ball rolls, and if that, uh, mercifully enough, it stops. If that ball doesn't stop rolling, it's down in Jeanette Brochu's backyard. <laughs> Won't be the first one. No. <laughs> I'll bet you there's a lot of them down there. Bellavance gets that one up. Rosenthal, we got to clear this one out of here. I don't want it right in the middle of the field like that. Hurley draws up. I liked the way Harry, when that ball was coming up, Hurley kind of stood there, and, you know, he could have hit it with the header to bounce up, and instead he went for the chest trap, drop down, play. Yep. Veteran play, yep. I think, for the senior. Oh, no, there's a misplay by Bellavance. Ball go triggles wide. A little risky as well. A header certainly would have sent it 20 feet back up the field, but chesting it was able to bring it to his feet, which gave the Hazen offense a uh, chance to capitalize and try to steal it. So I think he looked around and realized he was in space, not under too much pressure, and was able to make that play. Rosenthal, you can see the sun in their eyes. High kick here to the middle. Ball out, that should be a red throw, I believe. They're saying it never came in. I'm going to say Finn Rooney trying to catch up with that, but he was about six feet out of bounds. <laughs> Unlike basketball, it's where the ball is. In basketball, you can the ball can cross the line, and as long as you're not on the ground, you can kind of scoop it back in. Is that right? Uh, yes. In soccer, as soon as the ball's over the line, then it's That's deemed it. over the line and out. Whether or not you make some acrobatic kickback or not. Same with a goal. If the ball goes over the line five feet in the air and the goalie scoops in to save it and paws it back out, it's still a goal. It's still a goal, yep. Uh-oh. Great pass through. Going to have a one-on-one -on -one shot here. Wide. Just wide. Just wide. Excellent. Wide right was Logan Amell, and boy, we got lucky on that one because he was right in there one-on-one -on -one with the shopper. The ball got by, chipped right through the defense. Yeah, Shoplin did a good job uh, standing his ground, looking aggressive, and making him nervous enough to put it off to the side. I think it was, if he tucked it in anymore, I think Shoplin was there to get something on it. But uh, the Hazen defense will certainly want to take that as a warning that they are looking for those three balls, and they will not want to give them that opportunity again. NW. Up ahead again. Rosenthal brings that one down. Save the shopper. 5.50 left to go here in OT. Yeah, 
There's Davison up ahead looking for Baker. Three white jerseys right there. Caleb Friend. Let's put it back. Willette. Cross. Ball down. It's loose. Stevens makes the grab. Nice save by Stevens in traffic. Baker right in his face. Ball taken down. Justin Wright. Ball chipped out by Wyatt Bellavance. Finn Rooney. Too far. Too far. Inaccurate. Not enough power. Out of position. <laughs> off balance. High. Long punt. Goes up over the defense once again. James Montgomery back. Lincoln Mitchell. Going to clear that one up to the side. It's going to be out of bounds. It's going to give uh, pass to Lacqua a chance to play this one in. Mitchell. We're going to have a corner. The most exciting play in all of soccer right here. It sure is. And we don't like it in our end with 4.30 left in OT. Not with that sun right in Shoplin's eyes. Yeah, you see yeah. those long shadows means that sun is shining straight into his eyes. Tassie on the corner. Ball up. Miscommunication between the yep. defense and Shoplin there. Shoplin called keep. Mitchin tried to make the play. Listen to your goalie. Yep, absolutely. He should be furious with the defender for getting in his way. Pass to Lacqua. Into right, right into traffic. Defense. The Wildcats looking tired. Every pass, every tackle they have seems labored. Baker working against uh, Hurley back here. In these situations, you wonder if their shallow bench is uh, affecting them for the extra yeah. 20 minutes. We didn't see it against Fairfax, but we certainly are seeing it for a bit now. Caleb Friend goes out. Cody Hall in. 3-11 left here in overtime. Cody, big throw in. Hurley, we're going to have a corner kick of our own. Colton Nimi. Remember, drops down pretty drastically on this corner of the field. You're almost kicking uphill. Nimi, ball up. Going in was Wyatt Bellavance, and when Stevens hollered keep, his defense let him have it. Julius, beautiful play on that long high kick. Nimi, trying to do anything to get it up through. Bellavance. Bellavance powers through that one. Nice pass up ahead. Oh, Cody couldn't quite get it. Two minutes left to go here in OT. That's Davison. Very dangerous area for the Wildcats now. We'll see if they can capitalize with a set play or if someone's foul called confident I, enough to go for the shot. Foul the called, I believe, shot. on Mike Murphy. Is this a direct or indirect area? This will be direct. You can see the ref pointing straight ahead. Okay. Foul on the field. Colton direct, Nimi. Direct kick. Puts it right on. Stevens down. Ball bounce. Baker there. Puts oh. it. Goal! The butcher, the baker, the goal maker, Isaiah Baker off the deflection. Stevens was down. It made the original save. Ball bounced out. Baker right there to capitalize on it. With 123 left in OT, that's going to put Hazen in the victory column. A hard-fought match here. Do we see anything, Harry? I see you're kind of looking intently out there. It was a hard, it was good, hard, low shot. It was hard to handle. The goalie was unlucky that uh, his defense wasn't there to save him after a great performance from the defense all game. Uh, by when the rare mistake happened from the goalie, they 
weren't able to clean up the mess for him. And Baker, and Baker right did an excellent job capitalizing on it, didn't give up on the play. He was right there to pounce and put the ball in the back of the net. Just a great game, and that pushes your Hayes and Union Wildcat boys to record two, four, and one. Their next game uh, coming up Wednesday at Enosburg. So wish them luck in that. Once again, Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 16 on your local cable dial streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Our sponsor, Willie Store, 533-2621, open every day, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. And Calderwood Insurance Agency, 472-5517, service and protection since 1979. Griff on camera, Harry Bissett up here uh, providing expert commentary. Good luck against Oxbow on Friday. Thank you. We'll see everybody again next time. Bye-bye.